The guy who came to see us, Tom Wilson, was having a good time with some girls. And he was dragged to the Whiskey A Go-Go to witness one of our songs, which happened to be a blues kind of a number. He said, oh, white blues band. OK, we'll sign them and sign the group, and then went right back to the girls. I don't think Wilson heard a lot of the other things, because when we went into the studio, he was totally surprised, and I'm sure he wasn't sure whether this was going to sell or not. And we were out there. <laughs> This is the number we always play when people ask us to play more, because we know that after we play this, they couldn't possibly ever want to hear us again. We're going to play a piece of music that was written by Edgar Varese called Octander. Do you consider that your group is just as talented and as skilled as, say, men from a symphony orchestra? Oh, I, th I think there are definitely things that this group of musicians can do that you, you wouldn't be able to find symphony musicians to do. Because not only do they manipulate their instruments with great skill, but they have to do it all from memory, and they have to do it with choreography. You insist on very high and exacting standards. Yeah, I have to insist on them. I don't always get them, but I have to insist on them. I think if you shoot any lower than that, you're going to wind up with something sleazy. So we try and, like, the, the parts are real complicated, so if you don't stay on it and make sure everything is right, you don't get an accurate performance. Man, we would go in for a minimum 8, 10, 12 hours. I mean, you know, drinking black coffee, whatever. He wouldn't stop. I mean, it was, you know, it's like, God. It didn't matter if it was Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever band we were going to rehearse and, you know, make sure that we were ready to, to play the music because he was just writing all the time, all the time. So we were always introducing stuff. It was uh, a very unusual approach, I think. Oh, I remember those wonderful dances in El Monte. And it must have taken a couple of years for Freak Out to catch on. And what was it that just picked it up? We moved to New York, played five months, six nights a week in this 300 capacity theater. Yeah. And that made the biggest difference. Mm -hmm. 